Hey, it's Matt Cook here, and today I am going to show you a crucial element to health that no one talks about. The fact is that our gut is like a sewer system, and the contents of our gut, especially our bowel, our, our small, our large intestine, are basically like the worst type of sewage imaginable. And when that stuff leaks into our body, that's where we got what's called leaky gut. Now, here is what no one is telling you, and that is the faster your gut moves, the healthier you are. Now, that means the more bowel movements, the better, right? Wrong. Not really. Although it's good to have more than one bowel movement a day. It's much, much better for your health. What really counts is your transit time, how fast food moves through your gut from when you eat it to when you defecate it. And this is a study I'll talk about some other time, which talks about how many of us have certain types of bacteria in our gut called archaea that actually are not even bacteria. They're a different family altogether. Antibiotics don't work against them because they're not bacteria, and they slow down the gut, and they uh, increase endotoxins. We'll get to that. But what I want to show you right now is the study that was done a while ago. That's a fantastic study that showed that you can use the way your, your stool looks in the toilet as a guide to how fast it's moving to your gut. Basically, and what they what they did is they they, they yeah, yeah people study this stuff. Thankfully, right? Um, they studied this stuff, and uh, I'll, I'll show you this this Bristol School scale they were they were using. Basically, this. So um, if you're if you're uh, very very fast trans time, that means you have really bad diarrhea. Okay, that's the extreme. The other side of it is little hard lumps that are really hard to pass. That's like super slow. And so this is basically what they found is that as people speed up their transit time, as they speed up the rate of food going through their gut, which is good to us to an extent, um, they, they moved down here towards like type four, which is ideal, or even four or five, which is ideal. That was basically what they found. Um, and they found that it's not how many times you actually have a bowel movement, it's the it's the form that it looks like in the toilet that will tell you how fast to transit. So if you have a fast transit time, it can sort of pile up in your, you know, in your in your colon, and then uh, you have a you may defecate only once a day, but it, it passes really fast. So you can't just move look at how many bowel movements today to determine how fast food is passing through you. Um, and they and they actually went ahead and gave some people a, um, uh, basically like a, something that stimulates fast transit time, which is kind of harmful, called senna. Uh, and they found that the stool form changed when they speeded the transit time, when they slowed the transit time down with loperamide, which is a common thing you can buy at the drugstore that, um, for diarrhea, it slows transit time. And, and basically, uh, when you slowed transit time, you moved up to the hard lumps. When you speed it up, you move down towards the, the blobs, and that's good. So what you want is you want fast transit time. And if you're uh, having difficulty with stool and you're sort of more like, let's go back to our little scale here. Uh, if you're more like, you know, this or this or this, that means you got some work to do. You want to speed up the transit time, which is probably the most important thing you can do for your health. Oh, Matt Cook here. And tomorrow I'll have a new study to bring to you. And if you want my studies, I will give you some that I'm emailing people and you can only get them through email. Uh, there'll be a link below. Uh, to subscribe. Also, I have written a, a book. It's an amazing book called Healthy to 120, which has hidden, censored, buried, underground studies, shows you how to uh, live to 120. And for example, I just turned to page 194 by um, just randomly, and you'll learn about how to lower estrogen using vitamin E. So just amazing stuff. Get a copy of the book. It's free. Just help me out a little bit with a few bucks for shipping. Look forward to speaking to you tomorrow.